This is Rags to Riches, a 14 season career mode where we start with the worst car in F1 2010 and try to work our way up the order to a top team in F1 23. The rules are simple. Beat my teammate and I can stay at this team for the next season. Lose to them and I have to go down the order. But to move up, I must get a top 10 in the championship. So let's begin. We've got Fernando Alonso on pole position for today's race. There's a red ball alongside him. We're in P6. The lights are coming on. The engine is revving. And we are racing in Hungary for the Hungarian Grand Prix. We're going to use all of our curves and head down into the first corner. We know what we can do on the first laps. We know how good we are under braking compared to the AI. As somebody's having a little look up or inside, we have a little bit of contact there with Sebastian Vettel. Mark Webber getting all out of shape on the left-hand side. Now Vettel's lost out to Lewis Hamilton. We're going to go on the inside of Sebastian Vettel. Maybe even Lewis Hamilton as well, if we can. He's on my right-hand side. He's going to hold it through there, and Lewis Hamilton secures P2, but that is up to the podium. We run it wide again. As we know, that's going to allow Mark Webber to have a look. Oh! Oh! Oh, he did spin! He drove into me. Oh, we're going to get a lovely aerial shot, though. Okay, we run wide. And then, yeah, look at all that space that he decided not to use. Hold on to our P3. How... No! 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 Ah, sorry, Button. Sorry. Oh, my God. We've absolutely bottomed that. We will hold on to this position. I've got no tyres. At least, to be fair, I think we can still get good points out of this race. It just won't be the podium that we will... Why did the AI turn left? Go, go thank you. Okay, right. Four seconds. There's a lot of cars now. exiting Watch the pits the right now. The and it's going to be very, very close with the likes of Kamui Kobayashi. We go right around the outside of. We pincer him on the inside of the corner. We use the curves and we stay ahead. Can we gain any more positions in this race? Okay, we might actually get out in a good position again. Break late. Can we go around the outside of Massa? Massa's had a really good comeback drive. Can we lunge it? Up the inside of Felipe. We're going to go deep. We're going to go late. On the inside of Massa. That was not clean. That was not clean. I think I just broke his front away. Oh, God. Massa. He's coming through. Pin him on the inside. He's not going to allow it, though. Break late. Around the outside of the corner if we can. Give him space on the inside. He's still there. Use the curse. He will use the DRS. And I think this time, we don't have to lunge it so late this time and take out his front wing, and that's good. One lap left to go. Look at the tyres. They are absolutely obliterated. And here comes Felipe, but he can't get it done. Hard on the brakes into the first corner. Felipe Massa with a beautiful switchback. He's going to hold the outside line. I think we can just break a little bit later than him into turn two. Is he going to hold it? Felipe Massa right around the outside. That is why he is the championship leader. But we're going to come back at him. Along the far straight into the far sweeping left-hander. We're going to hold on to it. I don't think it's going to affect us too much as we get caught on the curb. Out wide. No! No! We lose the back end in the last moment. The tyres have given up on us. And it's going to be a no points finish as if we bottled that. Oh, no. Jensen Buns on pole position for this Belgian Grand Prix. Bao Keller out qualified me. It was wet once again, although the running that we did get in the dry wasn't was good enough. The lights are coming on. The engine is revving. And we are racing in Belgium. Or in Belgium for the Belgian Grand Prix. Let's see what we can do at the start. We know we have good starts in this game. Find the gap! Oh my god, I've crashed into Sebastian. No, oh my god, somebody else crashed and it opened the door for me. Let's go. I hit Vettel. The Toro Rosso also bombarded up the inside. We're going to go side by side with Massa through a Rouge and Radion. Felipe Massa down in P8, and that's not what he needs. That's not what we need. We've got right on the curb. And that's allowed Felipe Massa just to have a little look up the inside. And he's got it. They're going to go wheel to wheel. Oh, it's a big lunge. It's a huge lunge on Jaime Alguasuari. We go three wide at the moment. Alguasuari goes a little bit too deep. So we're going to go around the outside of Jaime Alguasuari. I was not expecting that on both the drivers. And there we go. Right, come on. Four second stop. Five? Why is it a five? They're all in the pits right now. Where is Sebastian Vettel going to be? I think he's jumped us. I think Vettel's jumped us. I think a lot of other drivers have jumped us as well. The cold tyres, we're only going to be side by side with Kamui Kobayashi. We're going to get him. One driver is in the pits. Whoa! Whoa! What are these two doing? They're going to go wheel to wheel again. Schumacher backs off of it. We go round the outside. Lovely overtake there. It was no points in Hungary, but it's going to be points here in Belgium. 
But that's what we like to see back in the points once again. The Italian Grand Prix is a Ferrari front row lockout. Are we going to be upsetting the Tafosi in today's race? We're lining up third place. A really good qualifying session for us. The lights are coming on. The engines are revving. And we are racing in Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. And we're going to burn all of our curves to have a chance on Felipe Massa and Fernando Alonso into the first corner, breaking at the 100 meter board. Do we break too late? No, it's absolutely perfect. Up the inside, somebody's cut across the corner. Who is that? It's Fernando Alonso, who somehow holds on to B2. Why is the yellow flank about? Fernando Alonso going for the overtake here into the Parabolica. Can he pull it off? Look at the grip that they have out of the corner there. But now, look at how good our straight line speed is going to be. We're going to tuck back in that slipstream of Fernando Alonso. And look at us just drive back at him in the straight line speed. We're going to move over to the right-hand side of Fernando. Felipe Massa is going to get boxed in. No, he's not. We break at 150. It's wheel to wheel. It's free wide into the chicane. Fernando Alonso has got it back. What a move from Alonso to take back the lead into this next corner. Where's it going to come? Up the inside if we can. And we're going to go for it. He's still there. Oh, he's thrown me off wide into the corner. What a move from Fernando to hold on to P1 in this race. And that has allowed Sebastian Vettel to also get past. Can we do anything? Fernando Alonso on Sebastian Vettel. We're going to go. We're going to go through on Vettel. We're going to go through on Vettel. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Heifel's gone fastest right now and we've got past Vettel. Let's go. Alonso 1.9 ahead. I'm going to need him to lose a lot of time in the pit stop, which may just happen. He's got a nice gap that he might just actually lose that time by being held up of everybody else that come in the box. We're going to get held up by absolutely freaking no one. He's going fastest right now. It is a five second yeah. stop for literally no reason. Fernando Alonso enters the pit lane. Will he be held up? Look at the pace. We're going to get off Liuzzi. Where are they? Oh my god, Liuzzi, what are you doing? You absolute maniac. There is Fernando Alonso up ahead of us. What can he do into the first corner? We've definitely gained time on Fernando. We've got to go for it now. Whoa! Close up massively on Fernando under braking. Just so good compared to the AI. DRS activated. And here we go on Fernando to take back the lead of the Italian Grand Prix. Unless we've got these guys here. Felipe Massa, Mark Webber. Could they take the lead of the Italian Grand Prix? It's hard on the brakes around the outside of Massa. And there we go. Back in the lead in Italy. Breaking hard into the final corner. It's been a sensational battle here in Monza. It might not be done yet. Fernando Alonso closes in. It's not enough. It's a race win in Monza in Italy. Yes! On pole position for the Singapore Grand Prix. We've got Jensen Button, my rival, in P5. And Rubens Barrichello, not a good day for him. He's in P17. And my chat once again have put me in cockpit cam. The lights are on. The engine's revving. And we are racing in Singapore from pole position. We use our curves. We get away nicely. And we should be able to hold on into the first corner. Jensen Button will have a little look. But we're going to hold it off around the outside and move ourselves into the lead of this race. Pits are clear. Now it's a good time to pit. I agree. And there we go. Into the box. We want to come out behind Rubens Barrichello. And in that lovely gap to all the other drivers. There's a yellow flag. There's a car that's crashed here. I've got to be careful. Yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag. Safety car, safety car. Oh my God, you maniac. What are you doing? Bring out the safety car. Oh, that's not what I needed. That's going to hold me up and allow them to jump me, I think. Or well, haven't they? Maybe we're okay. Maybe we're okay. I don't know. Oh no, we've got him. We've got Vettel. Spike throwing a Sauber at me. Oh, we're wide. Where are they? Sebastian Buemi is out in front of this race at the moment. And we are clear. Oh, got to be careful on those curves. Don't want to push the car too hard through there. Okay, we damaged our front wing. But they're going wheel to wheel back there. No, Hamilton's crashed. Felipe Massa's P3. They tried to put me in cockpit cam. And it's the race win. Let's go. Yes. Felipe Massa, you've got to say now, is definitely in the driving seat for this world championship. He is currently 31 points down the road. DRS open 130R. Oh my god, we're upside down. You know, like perfectly timed screams, but perfectly timed pauses. <laughs> Look at that. Japanese Grand Prix time. Mark Webber on pole position. Jensen Button in second. A lot of my championship rivals up there in the top five. People are going to have to try and beat in today's race. We're starting at P8. A good 
qualifying session from myself. The lights are on, the engine's revving, and we are racing in Suzuka for the Japanese Grand Prix, putting it straight up into Ritzmix. We kind of drive into Rosberg accidentally there. Heading down to the first corner. We've run it so deep into the gravel. We get away with it. Rosberg's going to maintain position. Petrov's going to hold us off on the inside now into the first part of the S's. Fly into the pit lane now. On track right now, we want to come out ahead of the back markers. I think we're going to be in the mix with some of them, maybe. It's going to be about five seconds stop, isn't it? If it can be a four second, that'd be great. Oh my God, you are actually kidding me. I go one lap later to avoid everybody else and I have a 10 second pit stop. No way, Glock. I'm going to send it on him. I'm going to get him out of the way. Oh, what a move at 130R. It's not a back marker, but it's an amazing move. That has to be done. Where are they all? I'm only going to gain on my teammate. My teammate. I went from... And I've gone into the gravel. Watch it. We're on the same <laughs> Safety car's being deployed. Safety car's being deployed. I've taken out Rubens. Oh, Safety my God. Rubens Barrichello has given us a lifeline. Prime tires it is then. Prime tires it is. Let's do it. How is our front wing change pit stop quicker than our normal pit stop? Why is Buemi there and he's P12? Carter Kane's 13th. Am I a lap down? Here we go on the restart. Where even are we? I have no idea of the positions in this race right now. When will we lap? The game has sadly glitched. And that is our race done. Oh. No, we crashed out. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Oh, man. Here we go. It's time for the South Korean Grand Prix. I'm lining up in P3. My rival, Jensen Button, alongside me in fourth. The lights are coming on. The engine is revving. And we are racing here in Korea. And the race is underway. What can we do down into the first corner? Can we dive it in between Vettel and Alonso? We kind of squeeze out Sebastian Vettel. And we get the jump on both of them. Alonso moves up to second. Button's in third. Fernando Alonso having a little look up the inside into the corner. We're going to give him room. Oh, he's crashed into me. And into the pit lane we go. Everybody driving on with the only car in the pit lane apart from the Lotus okay. team. It's a four-second stop. That's the quickest pit stop I've ever seen on this game. Vettel is not in the box, but a few other drivers are. Not that many, actually. What is Alonso doing? We are right up on his tail right now. Oh, around the outside. No, we've gone off the track. That's lost us a little bit of time. That's all we need. That's not what we need with Sebastian Vettel running away with things up front right now. Running a little bit wide there as well. They're both in the box. There we go. See you later. No. What the hell happened there? There's a car out of the pit lane. That is Seb. Sebastian Vettel takes the lead of the Korean Grand Prix. Right, here comes Jensen Button one more time. What will he do? I feel like if we defend the inside line, we're going to be squeezed by Jensen Button. Here he comes. We're trying to use as much curves as possible to hold on. Button on the inside. We're going wide. No. 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 We lost it on the rears. We've taken out Lewis Hamilton. Jensen Button takes back second place of us. Our rival. We're going to come through the final corner now. If our tyres can hold on, they are absolutely dead. But it's going to be P3. It could have been a lot more. A brand new track on the calendar. It is the Indian Grand Prix. It's first race in 2011. We're starting on the grid in P7 with my teammate down in 14th place. The lights are coming on. The engines are racing. And we are racing. The engines were revving. We're racing in New Delhi for the Indian Grand Prix. Let's see what we can do down to the first corner. Breaking hard into the first turn. It's a new track that we've had to learn just in qualifying. And it's a good start from ourselves. We're going to have to go around the outside if we can. Down the middle of Weber. Oh, Weber's absolutely taken out. And he's blocked me. Mark, no. No. Give us, where's our safety car? Mark Weber, get out of the way. What has he done? Oh, no. But look at this cluster that we've got going on right now. Lots of cars. Is that clock going slowly? It is. Oh, my goodness me. Big send up the inside of the back markers. And we're going to get as many positions as we can. We're going to try and get ourselves back into this Indian Grand Prix. We're going to switch ourselves to the inside on the back markers. Break later than Glock. No, it's D'Ambrosio. We're going to squeeze him off out wide. Great exit compared to Kovalainen. Can we do something around the outside of the long, sweeping right-hander? We can. He's going to back out of that corner. And there we go. Back up into P15. We're going to lunge one now right up the inside of Adrian Sutil. Leonsi has found himself up into P11 at the moment. We're going to use Kurz to overtake Paul de Resta down into the first corner and maybe Leutzi as well around the outside. 
I think we made contact with him. We made contact again. He's driven into us this time. We drive into him first time. And now we're going to overtake Kamu Kamiyashi. He did not have a good exit at all. We're going to get him now into this hard braking zone around the outside of Kamui. Oh, my God. And again, what is Perez doing so early on the brakes? We're going to get a good run off him. We're going to get DRS as well. Straight line speed on Sebastian Buemi. And look at that easy overtake to move ourselves up into the top end of the field now. 125.9, fastest lap. Jaime Araswari, where's he going? Maybe up the inside, big lunch. Oh, I don't even know how to box around here. Schumacher in the box. Where is the pit lane? We're going to try and overtake Schumacher into the box. Can we do it? We've done it. Come on, quick pit stop, please, Williams. We stayed ahead. Let's go. Let's go. It's a 5.4. We'll take that. That's okay. Can we go for something up the inside of my teammate? Easy. Watch you don't take each other off. Sorry, Rubens, I need this more than you. Fernando gaining on Felipe. Where are they going to break? Into this corner. Come on, we're going to go very, very late on the brakes. On Felipe Massa as well. A little bit of contact with him, but it's okay. Can we get Massa like we got Rubens Barrichello? Following in the slipstream. This is for the podium. We were spun around at turn one. We were completely blocked by Mark Webber. Up the inside of Felipe Massa. Not like Lewis and Massa in 2011. No contact made there. We have moved ourselves up onto the podium and now hunting down Lewis Hamilton for P2. We were blocked by Mark Webber at turn two of this race. Dropped down to the back, but that could not stop us getting onto the podium. The rise in India is P3. Let's go. What a drive. Mathematically, we still have a chance. If we get 50 points, we go to 226 points. The penultimate race of the F1 2011 season. Button my rivals on pole. We're in second place. Lewis Hamilton is third. The lights are on. Our engine's revving. And we are racing in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in the United Arab Emirates. It's a great start from us. We have left Jensen Button for dead. Or have we still there? Around the inside, inside line for turn one. Job done. Into the box. Box, box, box. We've got to see what we can do. 5.3. Why is it so slow? And yet earlier, it was a four-second stop. They're going underneath us. We're on our left-hand side. It's going to be so close here with Lewis Hamilton. But we will rejoin just alongside him. We've got him. More drivers in the pits right now. Oh, my God. We've run it so, so deep, though, into the last corner. Could that potentially have lost us a position to Jensen Button? He is exiting the pit lane right now. Where is he going to be? I think he's going to be behind us, but could have a really good exit out of the tunnel through the last corner. Jensen Button has a big send. He can't pull it off, though. It's the race win in Abu Dhabi. And is that still us in the championship hunt? Felipe Massa is out of the points. We can still win this championship. We need to win the Brazilian Grand Prix. And we need to hope that Felipe Massa and Sebastian Vettel do not score any points. One final time, then, in F1 2011. Jensen Button lines up on pole position. My rivals, Felipe Massa, Sebastian Vettel, and Lewis Hamilton, all qualifying ahead of us. We have to win this race if we want to win the championship. The lights are on. The engine's revving. And we're racing for the final time of the season in F1 2011. We're going to go for a big old send up the inside on Massa. We give him a little bit of a tap. It's punter pass around. Oh, we've driven into the Lotus of Petrol, but it's okay. Let's lunge it on Rosberg up the inside. You can hold it wheel to wheel with Nico Rosberg. And that moves us up to P4. I'm going to lunge it on the inside. Screw it. I'm going to go for the lunge. Lunge up the inside on Vettel. Here just we go. We got him. Just like we're going to do on Fernando Alonso right here. Big on the brakes. Big on the brakes. That is disgusting. Sebastian Vettel is in the pit lane. Right. Come on, guys. I need you all to hold three. him up. Try and Felipe Massa as well. No, controller. Not the time. We've closed in big time, I think, there on Jensen Button. Please don't get held up. There's Force India coming out into the pit lane. Please, 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 please. please. Five seconds stop. Come on. Come on. Go, Come go on. 4.8. That's a good stop. That's exactly what we needed. Where is Sebastian Vettel? Rejoined. Okay, we've jumped Vettel by quite a bit. Can we nick the race win from Jensen Button? Be aware. The car ahead has a puncher. Jensen Button's got a puncher? What? Or is that Felipe Massa? Why is Massa in the lead? Has Felipe Massa got a puncher? He has. Felipe Massa! has DNF'd. Oh my god. Felipe Massa is out of this race. He has lost the championship at the final round. It's all up to us now. And Sebastian Vettel. Vettel is P3. As it stands, Sebastian Vettel will be the 2011 world champion. Oh, is the back marker going to get in the way of Button? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Let's go. Yano Trulli, my teammate from last season, doing an absolute solid for me right now. We're going to send it on the inside. We're going to take the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix, are we? Yes, we have. 
We have taken the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix. This could help Sebastian Vettel get P2. It could help other drivers get Sebastian Vettel. Right, come on then, come on. There's so many cars behind Vettel. Have we just helped Sebastian Vettel secure this championship? Or have we done it ourselves right down to the line? We're going to take home the race win. Sebastian Vettel, though, I think it's going to be a 2011 world champion. What is it going to be? Oh, no. Sebastian Vettel wins the 2011 World Championship. But what a finale.